We're almost to the hiring surge that happens in September of every year. So if you find yourself unemployed or you're looking for a new job, this one's for you. I used this tracker when I got laid off in August of 2022, and it helped me keep track of which applications were still live and what status they were in. In the top left of my dashboard, I have a list of all the follow-ups that are due today. Then I can see a breakdown of all of my applications that are still active based on the application date. And that's broken up by week, and then to the right of that, broken up by month. And underneath that, I have a bird's eye view of my calendar to see exactly what I have for each day. So I can quickly see if I have an interview, if I need to prep for an interview, or if I just have a follow-up task I need to complete. And this is automatically updated from the tracker, so it requires zero upkeep. The tracker itself lives under the active application list. And here you guys put the application details so you can keep track of which applications are live and what status they're in. So for example, let's say I'm applying to a new application today. I'll double click on the application date and select today's date. Then under the company name, I'll put the name for the company. The likelihood of hiring will always start at too early to tell. And networking in this economy is important, so try to find somebody that you can reach out to and put them under networking. Then you'll put the location and the position title. And this will help keep things separated if you apply for multiple positions at the same company. Once you get contacted, you'll put the main contact as the person that reached out to you. And the last contact date will be the date that you applied. The next step is the next step in your journey. When you first add it, it will be to send a LinkedIn request. And the next step date is the date that the next step is due. You'll attach your resume. And you should be using different resumes when you apply, so you'll link to the version that you applied with under resume. Under job description, you can link to the job description or add it manually if you'd like. Under salary, of course, you'll add the salary details. Add any highlight benefits that you want to and any additional notes. I'm going to change the next step date to the 12th of August just to make it easier to spot on the dashboard for this example. And now when I go to my dashboard on the 12th of August, I have a LinkedIn request at Visa due that day. And by default, the calendar will show the top four items due that day. If you need more, let me know. After you complete that step, you can set it to the new step. And you have all these different options. So for example, if you get a first interview, you can change it to interview. And then on the dashboard, it will update to interview one at Visa. And you'll also change the likelihood of hiring to the scheduled first round interview option. And once you update the likelihood of hiring, on our dashboard, if you go to the charts, you'll now see that application reflect the new status. So as you can see, right here is the application that we just submitted, and the status is the one that we just selected. So you'll continue with these updates as you go through the application process. If you receive a rejection letter or you decline their offer, you can select one of the two black options, and it will automatically move from the active application list to the inactive application list. So this way, you can still have a list of everything that you applied for, but it's not clogging up your active application list. And since it's no longer active, it will no longer appear on your dashboard under the charts or on your to-do list. So that's a good way to make sure that you're only occupying your mind with opportunities that actually exist and not anything that's already lost. So that's how to use the job application tracker. There's a full tutorial if you want to build this, or you can get it on my shop for free. Like and subscribe for more.